Uh, this uh, training camp went really, really well. It was one of the smoothest training camps we had because we know for sure we had a fight coming up, so the motivation was there. Uh, we, we were uh, helping Mike Dallas get ready for his fight with uh, uh, Dusty Harris. You saw how that went. He got a raw deal on that, but he put, it, put Dusty Harris down, and he gave us a lot of credit. We, we helped him the whole training camp. That helped us out a lot, you know, sparring a veteran like Mike Dallas Jr., then we finished up and uh, we got a couple rounds in with Jonathan Chicas. He helped us out a lot also and we really appreciate all the work we got in. It was perfect. He's ready to go. Ready to, to, to get at least three fights in this year, finally. Just be ready to watch, you know, an explosive fighter, you know, the type of fighter that you guys want to watch progress, you know. As long as, as long as we get the fights, as long as we can get the fights and, and you can see us, and I, I hope that everyone comes out and supports Rudy. They should, you know, from the Bay Area. Oh man, feeling good, feeling great. Um, got a year, year and a half layoff, but it's all good, man. I've been working hard the whole time. I never quit. So you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling strong for this fight. Yes, sir. It was my last workout. Felt good. You know, worked on a couple things that I want to do on the fight. Uh, mitt work. You know, I felt great. Uh, heavy bag. Just, just basically like a regular workout. Just took it a little lighter than usual. Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, we're waking up 147. Just basically walking around 150. Oh, definitely. Uh, me personally, I like to be on my, you know, I like to be at least five, ten pounds off, uh, off my fight weight because, you know, I just, I feel, I feel better and, you know what I mean, at, at the same time, this is professional boxing. You want to be a professional, you don't want to have to, you know, cut like 20, 30 pounds, you know, a week before your fight. You know, that's, that's, first of all, it's unhealthy and second of all, it's unprofessional. Uh, don't know really much about him. I seen one of his fights. Um, you know, he likes to come forward. You know, he's a tough fighter, real tough fighter. Um, comes in real strong, but uh, you know, I think my boxing skills are gonna be able to take them off. Looking forward to the fight. Thank you, man. I'm looking forward. What's good with it? What's happening, man? Just waiting. See what's happening. Trying to get it in, see my opponent. See what's gonna go on today, man. Five, six years old. The kid kept on fucking with me every single day. You know, he lived in front of me. He was older than me. You know what I mean? You know, kids in Uruguay, they're you know what I mean they're not like here. You know what I mean? They're rough. You know what I mean? They'll fuck with you. You know, every day I walk past the house, man, you a bitch, you a bitch, you a bitch. He's like, all right, I'm a bitch. And one day he like he pushed me. I was like, all right. And I found the closest thing to me. And my dad told me if, if he's bigger than you and you can't fight him with your fist, hit him with something else. Hit him with a rock or a stick. I'm like, all right. That's how I grew up. I fucking uh, I grabbed a, a, a brick. And I, I threw it at the kid. And then his mom was outside the door and then she, she was like, Chucky! And he turned around, the second he turned around, the fucking brick flew like right across his head. And ever since then, like he saw the brick, he stopped fucking with me. And that's so, why you like boxing? And then, you know what I mean? I was not bullied, but like kids would fuck with me my whole life. You know what I mean? So I'd always have to fight, you know? And then, you know, my mom told me, you know, you, I got in too many fights in school as a kid. So she put me in the boxing gym. And then ever since kids start, uh, found out I was uh, I was doing boxing, you know what I mean? Kids always want to test you. Oh, you do boxing? Okay, let's see how tough you are. You know what I mean? So I'd be like, instead of trying to get in a fight in the school, I was like, all right, come, come through to the gym. They would come through to the gym, we put on the gear. You know what I mean? I whooped their ass, whooped their ass until they, they'd be like, all right, man, no more, no more.
great fight. Um, I came out, you know, uh, try, I tried to work on some stuff, but, you know, he came out a little strong. So, you know, I had to put it on a little bit, and, uh, you know, that was it. You know, I didn't, expe I didn't expect the first round knockout. Me and A were trying to work on things, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, it happened. Yeah, man, real tough fighter, dude. He came out, you know, strong. You know, he came out throwing some good punches. You know, he caught me with a couple good punches, but, you know, I was on the back. Uh, I thought he did actually very good. I mean, he was trying to slow down the pace a little bit. You know, we want to box. We want to we want to build and have him get used to doing rounds and, and, and work on it and become a knockout artist. I, I, we stress that, working off the jab. But the guy came out strong, and when you're a real fighter, you're going to do what feels natural. And Rudy, you know, he had, to, he had to back him up. He had to say, hey, look, I can punch just as hard as you. And the result was he got hurt. Any real fighter knows, or any real finisher, if a guy gets hurt, they're going to finish him. You can't just slow it all the way down. Adrenaline's pumping, so Rudy did that, you know. And this guy was tough. He was in shape. He was smothering. He was a very good inside fighter. He came in. He came in. He went, he went after Rudy right off the bat, you know. And, and, he, and Rudy hit him with some good body shots. And I told him, work up and down, work up and down. So, you know, it is what it is. I, I, I'm, I'm happy with the performance, but I want to see more. I want to see him work on the things to work on more in the gym. I want to see him control the ring a little bit more. And I think that's my job is to keep him on his toes. I'm happy. I'm very happy. We work hard all the time. I'm very happy, but I want, you know, more boxing.